Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today we're going to be making this card here using the Peaceful Point Setup Bundle along with our Buffalo Check Background Stamp. So I'm so excited to show you guys this card. I love, love, love the way it turned out. I think it is so pretty. And I adding the background with this Buffalo Check I think just makes the whole card. So here are the thinlets. Uh, there is, excuse me, eight thinlets in here. We've got this cool corner piece, these other little corner pieces. We've got this fabulous detailed poinsettia. We've got the little holly berries and the leaves. And then we've got the dies that will cut out uh, the large stamped image and the small stamped image here. And we've got our Buffalo Check background stamp. So I've got a few tips for you with that. And one of the tips that I wanted to mention, in case I forget, is when you get done using the Buffalo Check stamp, a lot of times you're going to have ink on your pad just because Buffalo check background stamp is large. Your pad isn't as big as that. So I always like to just take the edge of a baby wipe and just go around these edges here. Not the edge of a baby wipe. Take a baby wipe and just go along those edges and just clean that up so that you don't end up getting ink on yourself when you open your pad the next time. So there's a little tip for you. All right, let me get my supplies for this and we will be back and make it. All right, here's the supplies we need for this card. I've got an eight and a half by five and a half piece of shaded spruce cardstock, and I'm just gonna fold that in half. I'm use my bone folder to get a nice crisp score on that. I have a piece of Whisper White that measures three and one quarter by four and a half. A piece of gold foil for a layer that is just slightly larger, so we have three and three eighths by four and five eighths. I have a, can't remember, one and a quarter by four and a half inch piece of mint macaron, and then a scrap of Whisper White to do our stamping on. So we're gonna bring in the large poinsettia image and the small little leaf image from the set. And I'm gonna ink this up with my memento because I'm gonna be using my Stampin' Blends to color that in. And we'll just stamp that right down here at the bottom of this scrap of white that I have. And then I'm going to get a couple of these little sprig images here, just like that. And now I would like to have these dry for just a couple of minutes. So I'll bring in my sentiment strip here and my shaded spruce ink. Got my sentiment stamp here. We're going to ink that up in the shaded spruce. And then we're just going to stamp it uh, somewhat here in the center of this piece here. Like so. All right. Put that ink away in the stamp. And I'll set that aside. And now I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Blends markers. So I've got my Dark and Light Cherry Cobbler. And then I've got the Dark and Light Call Me Clover but they actually work out really well with shaded spruce. Let me zoom in just a bit, okay. And I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna color these. All right, I'm gonna start with some dark cherry cobbler. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of scribbling on some of these leaves here. I'll probably end up uh, fast forwarding the video so you don't have to watch every single bit of my coloring, but. We'll start out by adding some of the dark here, just kind of randomly. I'm going to bring in my light, and now I'm just going to kind of swirl these colors. Kind of swirl that together. So I'm actually uh, using the dark and the light together to blend. I'll blend all the way to the tip of each leaf here. So let me finish this. You'll see I keep blending where the dark is. I'm going to keep blending that. So what I mean by that is I'm going to keep adding light over the top of it. All right, so my poinsettia is just about done. And then to do the leaves, I'm going to start with the light Call Me Clover marker. And I'm going to just 
lightly color in some of these sections on the leaves. Not the whole leaf, just some of the sections. And I'm not being perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the dark. And I'm going to do the other little sections that I missed with the first color. Okay, got the dark done. Now I'm going to bring the light back in and I'm going to cover the entire leaf now with the light. So that's going to darken up the spots that I actually had the light color and it's going to blend in a little bit of the dark. Of course, my coloring isn't great when I'm doing these videos because normally I would have this right under my face when I'm coloring, but of course for you guys to see, I can't have it directly under me, so I kind of go out of the line sometime. Okay, so you get the gist of what I've done there. So that whole thing is done. So then my next step is to bring in my take your pick tool and then the little extra piece that comes with this. So I'm going to unlock my take your pick tool and pull this tip off and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. So this is a small stylus and a large stylus. I want the large stylus end and then I'm going to lock that in place. I've got my Vegas Gold uh, shimmer paint here so I'm going to shake this up and then I'm going to open it and I'm going to use what's in the lid. And I'm going to use this to add some gold to the center of the flower, which actually I'm going to switch this because the center of the flower is very tiny, so I will use the small end. And I'm just going to dab. Oh, let me get my reading glasses on here. I'm just going to dab a tiny little dot of the paint over where the little dots are on the poinsettia. And then I can just scratch that, scribble that off on a piece of scratch paper. Open this up, switch the end so now I have the large end. So now I'm going to work on these other little like holly berry kind of things with my large one here. And you can see I can just add it. And then I can make my little dot a little bit bigger if I need to by just kind of pouncing it a couple more times, trying to fill that in. half holly berry here. Okay, turn that, get some more paint, work on the next one here, that little partial. And so you're just going to continue doing this until all of the holly berries are filled in. Get this last one here. Okay, again just bring a scrap paper in, clean that off, or you can wash it off with a baby wipe or your fingers, whatever you want to do. Sometimes I'll dab it off and I'll just rub it off with my finger. So I'm done with that. So now you would need to set that aside to dry. And these two little things I would have colored the same way, the holly berries with my cherry cobbler marker and then the leaves the same way I did on the large piece. So then you're going to take that to the big shot and you're going to die cut that after it's all dry and then this is what you're going to get, okay? But, so this one I've already done, it's already dry, I don't have to worry about the gold smearing, because it does take just a few minutes. And then here are my other little pieces that are going to go on the cards. Now we can start our assembly after we get our main layer uh, done with our Buffalo Check background stamp. Zoom back out here. Okay, so we have our Buffalo Check, and I have my Shaded Spruce ink pad here, so I'm going to ink this up. And what I'm going to do with this stamp is it can it can be kind of a stickler. You don't want to end up with a lot of like lines in it from the ink pad. So if you just kind of randomly do this kind of thing, you can get like lines from your ink pad and that's going to transfer to your cardstock. So I like to go along this kind of lighter pattern here. I go along that lighter pattern so that as I'm doing it, I'm not getting 
too many concentrated lines, okay? So then we have it inked up. We have our card base, and I'm going to be pretty careful, or I'm going to try to be, to get this lined up. Lay that down on the stamp. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper here. And I've got one hand holding down my paper so it doesn't move, and then my other hand is pressing and rubbing to transfer the ink onto that piece of cardstock. So then I'll trade hands. I'll put that one down and use this one to do the rubbing. Okay. Pick up the scratch paper holding onto it, and then I'm just going to dump this off. Ah, there we go. And there we have our amazing buffalo check. I just love this, you guys. Okay, so we're going to take this white layer and we're going to add it to the gold foil sheet. Just use some snail here really quick. And there's just going to be a tiny, tiny bit of the gold foil sheet showing around the border. Okay. And then I've got my sentiment piece here, which I actually have stamped it twice because I wasn't sure if, when I stamped for you guys if it was going to be straight. So I thought, well, I'll do it beforehand, and then if it's not straight, I'll have the other side. So they both turned out pretty straight, so it worked out good. All right, so now I'm going to set this right here on the white layer. Okay press that into place. And now I have some of our shaded spruce ribbon that comes from our metallic ribbon combo pack. And I'm going to add some ribbon across this layer here. With And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a bow. So I like to tie my things around a bottle just because that way I can make sure that I'm going to get a nice bow. So I would just do this. I would pull it off the bottle. I would manipulate it, trim off the ends, and then I would end up with this little guy right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this. I want my knot to be about right here. Okay. So I'll fling that and snip it off so I have enough to wrap around that end and then enough to wrap around this end. So I'm just going to wrap that around and use a bit of scotch tape on the back here. And then we'll bring this piece around. And we'll get that to the back. Okay. My little poinsettia image here, I am going to add to my card with some dimensionals. And you can see my Stampin' Blends, they bleed through, but not a problem. No one's going to see that anyway. Okay. So that's going to go in the center-ish. Is that centered? No, not quite. About like that. Okay. And then this is going to go on our main card here. And then I do have these other little uh, holly berry pieces that I thought I would just kind of, you know, randomly toss wherever. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with those. I'll just use a mini dimensional on these. I want it here by the sentiment. I think maybe. Maybe I just need one. Alright, we're just going to kind of go with one because I do like how that looks. We'll add this layer with some dimensionals. Get five, one in each corner, one in the middle. Ooh, I know what I'll do. I'll put that other one in the inside of the card. Okay, and then we'll set this right on the front here, like so. Get my inside piece. All right, and then we can just add this little guy right here on the inside piece. Get some snail on there, maybe like so. And then I think we'll add one more sentiment. All right, we've got our main sentiment from the stamp set there, and I'm just going to ink that up. Actually, I think I'm going to do it in cherry cobbler because we've done a lot of shaded spruce. So let's do this in the cherry, ink that up. And then we'll just try to center this. About like so. Ooh, look at that. It's a scrap. Nobody will know, though. 
Okay, I better close these because if I don't, I think we all know what's going to happen. My card's going to end up in the ink. Okay, and then we'll just add this to the inside of the card like that. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I always appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel down here in the corner and order your supplies at shoppingwithbarb.com. I always have free gifts with purchase and I look forward to hopefully being your demonstrator. So thank you again and have a great day.